everybody, welcome back to Wet the Face. I'm really glad you're here. And uh, this is the last one of the year that we're going to be doing. Um, I hope everyone's had a uh, wonderful holidays so far. And uh, I hope uh, 2019 is really great. And this video is dedicated to Chris Garcia. This one's for you, buddy. Uh, he knows what I'm talking about. And also, um, to my dear friend Jen, who uh, is recovering from uh, something that happened to her, and I, I just, I just hope and wish her all the best. So, um, with that said, uh, I'll be doing my last shave of the year with Mr. Warlock, and uh, using the aftershave. And I just, this is the test aftershave that I was. See, it has no label on it, right? <laughs> so we'll be using this one. Uh, this is actually stronger <laughs> than the one I released, if you can believe that. Um, you know, I had to back it down because <laughs> it was nuts. So, but maybe we'll keep that formula for another shaving soap in the future. Um, so with that said, uh, I wanted to go over some new things we can start looking at in uh, 2019. Uh, here is uh, something I've been working on with my 3D printer. As you can see, this is just a box, but it's actually a uh, soap mold. And I'm trying to get, I'm trying to make a, like a three by three uh, mold so I can just pour the soap in there and when they come out, they're all even and they're all the same weights and all that. So. That's what I'm working on with my 3D printer and it's coming out pretty good so far. I've done lots of tests and lots of things and this will be printed. This is in PLA so it's very hard right now, but uh, I'll be using a flexible kind of filament where you can just bend it and pry whatever is inside out. So uh, it, uh, hopefully I've seen it done and I'm hoping that it will work for me as well. Um, uh, we're also introducing something new for 2019, which is the WTF puck. And here is the, the puck, very hard. Uh, this is uh, still in the testing phases. Almost done, almost done. The scent on this one is Vintage Barbershop. And this has tallow. So this is gonna be our first tallow soap. It'll be in a hard puck, maybe it will uh, trickle down to the regular uh, shaving soaps. But for now, we're just gonna introduce our tallow versions in the hard puck. Um, with that said, I'm just gonna step aside and I'm gonna talk about um, all the great things that are coming with our giveaways. So we had a tremendous response to our uh, letter going out to all the artisans and we have some incredible artisans that responded and here is the list of them right now. And as you can see, it's an amazing list. We have, I think, oh, I think we have uh, three more left. Three more left. So um, if you know anybody who wants to, or if you encourage them to be a giveaway sponsor, have them email me at mrdon at wettheface.com. And we'll pick out one of the months that are left and have them be a sponsor for that month. Uh, so, with that said, 
I'm going to wrap up this uh, video with a shave. So let's get started. I'm putting all these things aside and we're going to do a bowl lather and I'll be using uh, my Captain's Choice bowl for that. And also, that reminds me, uh, we have another, I'm talking to another um, pottery artisan who has his own YouTube channel. I won't tell you who it is right now, but um, he might be creating all kinds of things for us. I'm still working on that with him, and I'm very excited about that as well. Um, he is fantastic. Um, he is uh, a very talented individual, and I hope he comes on board, and we can uh, also use his talents to supply us with all kinds of things. So Dominic is still going to sponsor us as well, but uh, I would like to have many different vendors come in and join the Wet the Face artisan group in that respect. So uh, hopefully it'll work out. If not, we'll just try someone else. So uh, with that said, let me set up here. This right here. Yeah, I'm going to do that right now. This, the brush that I'm going to be using is Frank Shape blush, brush. Look at that bloom on there. Isn't that wonderful? I've only had this for a couple weeks. Just beautiful the way it turned out. Um, and I think for my last razor of the my last razor that I'm going to be using for the year, it has to be. It has to be um, what someone called a potato peeler. <laughs> It does look like one. When he said it, I said, oh my God, it does look like one. Uh, the Occam Razor. The Occam Razor. <laughs> look at the potato peel. So um, let me set this up and we'll go ahead and do that. So um, don't go away. All right, so here's the bowl. It's empty. Um, instead of going through the whole process, you guys have seen this already. I love the blue of this, though. You know, it is just fantastic. It's, it's incredible. I'm just going to take this and place it in the bowl. Uh, you know, just doing my thing. Trying not to upset anybody about how I'm doing this. But this is not a tutorial. This is not for anyone else but me. If I make any tutorials, I'll let you know. But these are reviews, not tutorial. tutorials. Alright, that's enough. And I just use my finger. <laughs> All right. And now, okay, so here's the brush. And uh, just going to put some water on it. Put that water right in the bowl and let's do the lather. Shouldn't take that long. So we're thinking about uh, doing the, having a brush for wet the face and uh, the consensus is that we should go with like a 26 millimeter knot and either synthetic or bore, no, excuse me, either synthetic or um, badger. Those were the synthetic coming out on top and the um, badger is second place. So we might have two options for the for the brush. <laughs> All right, so let's let's take this bring it to the face. Okay, so I've had about uh, five to six days growth, so uh, let me wet the face. All right. Here's the brush with the lather on it. 
So let's apply it. And it's all over my shirt. And so what? This stuff is kicking. All right. Wow. My lips are getting numb. take this off. Ah, well, it's just going everywhere, so it doesn't matter. All right, so here is the razor. And let's do the shave, the last one of the year. So, I was talking to someone about, you know, the way the handle looks on this. And, you know, he was a... Uh, he was joking about how it looked like a uh, potato peeler. And uh, it got me thinking, I wonder how many people feel the same way about this, that the handle is somewhat awkward. So it got me thinking, I wonder if I can make something a 3D replacement, like a 3D part that fits over the handle to make it round. So if I took the most common handle uh, design and they just retrofitted it for this, accommodating that, I wonder if I can do that. I'm working on it. And if I do perfect it, I will see if anybody wants. Now right after this, I'm going to show you how the puck lathers. A funny thing, when I was doing the puck for the first time, it, it actually, when I was creating it, it turned solid really quickly and uh, it didn't give me time enough to put in the mold and that was upsetting but I'm working on slowing the process down so um, I have enough time to to do that now you know you do tests first and then you you adjust and do more testing and adjust and that's what we're going through now so let me just wet the face here. Oh, I can still feel the slickness. Wow. All right. And now 
for the aftershave. <laughs> I don't know if I want to put that much on. Here we go. Hmm. Oh Christ. <laughs> oh boy, that's the coupe de gras right there, boy. <laughs> Anybody who has the Warlock aftershave knows what I'm talking about. Woo! Holy crap, holy. <laughs> now, let me do this. I'm cleaning up here and I'll set up for doing the puck and I'll show you how that's gonna look. Okay, so you could see that um, I have the puck in this bowl. Um, I'm going to use this one. I'll use, um, let me see, I'll you know what, I'll use the same brush that I had before. Here is the Frank Shea brush. Um, now, as you can tell, oh, God, I, you can't make a dent in this, it's rock solid. So, and, I, and again, this is a tallow based soap. So let's see how this lathers. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take some warm water. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let this sit for a second to bloom it. And then we'll come back after we bloomed it. I'll take the water out and then we will put a little bit more water in on the brush and then we'll see what we get as a result. Okay, let's uh, let's empty this out. I'm not going to shave again, so I don't really need the bloom water. Let's empty the let's empty the brush contents of water in there. Let's see what we get. Let's go. We are just making some, loading the brush and I'm going to take the puck out in a couple of seconds and then we'll just agitate without it. So here we go. And now I'm just going to add a little bit more water. Let's just see what this is about. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is phenomenal. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. This is ready, boy. This is ready. <laughs> so, that's just a little demo of... Uh, of the tallow based puck that we're going to be releasing soon and uh, I'm very proud of it very proud of it so uh, with that let me let me put this all away and then uh, talk to you again so I want to wish everyone a happy new year and uh, I'm very excited about 2019 we got some really great things coming in and I want to thank all my patreons um, here is the list of some of my Patreons, so I'll just step aside. And uh, again, thank you all for making What the Face a success. I really enjoy running the community. I enjoy all the craziness <laughs> and all the stuff that goes with it. So uh, have a happy new year and I'll see you again.
in 2019.